sun for a couple weeks, so it's still doing good. Um, they do better without direct sun, but they'll still last. Um, there's accents. We have dried citrus and pine cones. There's also red accents over there, so put a little thought while I'm talking into which ones you might like to use. Um, I'm going to explain the materials and a quick tutorial. Watch me all the way through if you can, so try not to work while I'm working. It'll be better for you to visualize what's going on, and then I'll come and help you individually as you work along. So you have a 14-inch wire wreath form in front of you, and I attached paddle wire to it. There's tons of different wreath forms. These I find I have the most control and have the most full result out of, so I like to use these the best. Um, the gauge on 22 to 26 gauge wire is what you like to use if you're going to go to the craft store and make any more at home. You can also ask me if you want to make more and I can get you set up with materials. And I just started this by crisscrossing over the junction there on the joint to get you started so you can kind of see. And that's going to be how you finish it as well when you're all the way done. The base of your product of your wreath today is going to be the Christmas tree material. So it's a fir. And so every time you build a bundle, all of the, the whole wreath, you're gonna, it's a series of bundles that you're gonna make. So every time you build a bundle, your base is going to be this Christmas tree material. You're gonna have about five pieces of this in your hand, every bundle that you make. So five pieces of your base of the Christmas tree. And I'm right-handed, so I am actually gonna be building this in my non-dominant hand, I'm gonna be stacking all my materials into my left hand so that my dominant hand is the one wrapping the wire around. Um, thing to note about, if you're gonna use red, we're adding these right to our bundle. If you're gonna use pine cones and citrus, those are gonna be at the very end after you tie everything <coughs> off. So think about that if you want the citrus and don't like the way that it looks with the red, just know that you're gonna finish a whole green wreath first then and add the citrus last. So with your five, um, five pieces of Christmas tree material, then you can pick your accents. And I'm gonna have you shop for your accents. You're gonna grab a few stems after my little tutorial is done. Um, if you're gonna use the pine, I would suggest that you put the pine in the back. The more bulky material is, in, is gonna be in the back. It gives you a nice, um, nice texture breakup on it. And then cedar, just a single piece of cedar on the front. And then if you're gonna do the red, the red on top of that. And you can alternate, do one with berries, and then your next bundle would be eucalyptus. There's also green eucalyptus over there. If you want both, you can stick both on there. It's a little much. I, t I tend to alternate every other. So when you have your first bundle, how you like it, you can play with it in your hand. You might pick it up and put it down several different times before you find what you like. You're gonna put it right over your starting point, your X on your wreath, just like this. And it's hardy, so you are gonna grab it with your non-dominant hand and wrap around two times. And the key here is that you wanna put a good amount of pressure on it. The worst thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna bend your wreath form. It's totally fine. It's still gonna be a circle, no matter what the wreath form looks like <laughs> on that. Um, and that's gonna give you a nice, solid start. And every couple bundles, I want you guys to give it the shake test. If you have stuff falling out, you're not wrapping it hard enough. Nothing is worse than picking it up after you're all done and it falls out. <laughs> so every couple of bundles, do your shake test, make sure you're wrapping it hard enough. And then for the next one, we're gonna do another five-ish five pieces. If you have a really fluffy piece, maybe you only need four. Um, I'm gonna get another pine on the back another cedar on the front, and then I'm gonna use the berries this time. You wanna, these will turn brown, so strip off your leaves. And your pieces, this is way too long. Your pieces need to be maybe five to six inches, just enough to wrap around with the wire. So there's my second bundle. I'm gonna layer that right on top of the first one, just enough to cover the wire. And if these are like this, is a little crazy, so I'm gonna take that one out for this bundle. That's much better. Just enough to cover that wire. If you layer them too far on top of each other, you're gonna lose what you have already done, and it's gonna take you a really long time to get around that wreath. 
So play with it. If you're here, you're too far. You need to cover up that wire and make it nice so you can't even see that you have two bundles going there. And then wrap it around two more times. Give it the shake test and keep working your way around. And this, you can see my berries rolled, so I can just loosen up this wire a little bit and pull it forward so you see them more. They're pretty forgiving. So you guys can shop for materials. When you get what you need, just pull a few stems out of the bucket, the whole stem. You can take it back to your station and cut it. And remember, when you cut it, it's about five inches long. And so you can kind of play with it, decide how you want your bundles to look, and get started.